before we get started. Hey, shut up, Maki. I'm about to shut up the top. You hear that ticking, man? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all good. We, we can speak over it, but it, it's, like, it's like a little like weird ticking sound, man. I don't know why it, it, there's a ticking sound when I go live on YouTube. It's irritating, man. Well, whatever, man. Let's just get, you know, let's just do this. All right, Shalom, I'm out here. First off, the first one, give our first glory down to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq Madash. Go on to your puzzle, Everett's Great Millstone, and to our life across the globe. Teach you where two men sit and want to say Shalom. You know, we just in here, man. You know, the Lord um, blessed this morning. You know, bless me this morning. You know, to link up with the brother here. <laughs> right? To link up with the brother here, you know. Um, you know, and um, just just speaking about a lot of things, you know, um, um, you know, and um, the truth is going to be the new creature, man. All right, and it takes time to chip away at some of the things that are undesirable, but undesirable about us. All right, while you're chipping away, all right, a new thing will be added uh, to that. You know, and a lot of times, you know, uh, uh, it's ain't hard to do that. You know, but we just got to keep on working toward that process, man. We find ourselves, all right, um, um, uh, um, denying ourselves, all right, trusting on the Lord more, all right, because we are in the end of the end, all right, CTD, the power of Ramah, I'll say, all right, and um, we got to um, 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 start tightening up within ourselves and start getting things together, man. And I got a precept to mm-hmm. This is uh, 2 Ezra, all right, chapter 14. He almost started uh, 13. 2 Ezra 14 and 13. Now, therefore, set that house in order. All right, because you mentioned that. You got to tighten up and, you know, uh, you know, for lack of words, clean yourselves up, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, you basically, you got to uh, grow, okay, mature in this truth, okay. All right. And then you, you, you first and foremost got to get yourself in order, man. That's why um, I'll say this self-examination is very, very important in this truth. Mm-hmm. And it should be a daily thing. You should, you know, really look at yourself in the mirror daily, so to speak, okay? You know, you know, see where your faults are. You know, see where your weaknesses are. See where your strengths are, okay? And, you know, hey, where you're strong at, continue in those things. Keep, keep improving in those strengths, mm-hmm. all right? But, you know, really focus on your faults, your weaknesses, okay? Because we all got it, you know, you know, each brother has, you know, their their, their, their lows, man. All right? And with that being said, you got to get better, man. You can't sit there and, you know, and just, you know, be that same man, all right? Keep falling into those, those same bad habits. Hey, you know, create new good habits, mm-hmm. all right? And they say, um, this is something that I saw. It takes about what a good, um, I think like 30 days in order to, you know, create a new habit, mm-hmm. you know, where you're fully in it. So it create those good, you know, new habits to the best of your ability. All right. You know? Yeah. You know, and, um, you know, and, um, in the end, like the spirit just had to go like this. And this is a, a cold cut lesson, you know, for, for myself. All right. And, um, we, we are our own worst enemy. 
Alright? Hey, we fight our flesh. Alright, we, um, we make excuses and justifications for our actions. Alright, and then you got enablers. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You got brothers who are enablers. You know? Sometimes you got to tell a brother no. And sometimes you got to let a brother motherfucking see if he can get out of see how, just to see if he can get out of this himself, so to speak, man. Alright? Because a part of part of growth is learning from your mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know? Now, a little more. Mm -hmm. He says, uh, now, back in 2nd Ezra 14 and 13, Now, therefore, set thy house in order and reprove thy people, which, you know, you know we, uh, don't go out there, you know, we perform Isaiah 58 and 1, you know, cry out loud, sparing not. You know, we do that, and I'll say this too, man, we got to reprove one another. You know, we got to reprove our, uh, you know, it says set that house in order. First mm -hmm. it starts with yourself, mm -hmm. but then what's your, what's the next house? The brotherhood. The set the, hey, if you see a brother going off, you got to let him know, okay? You got to let him know. And, and I'll say this, you know, because, you know, it happens at times. You know, because sometimes you, you, you may be, you know, you have an affinity for a particular brother. Mm -hmm. Look, man, when it comes to reproving, you, you look, it's all business, man. You know, nothing personal. Don't let that, you know, those personal feelings get in the way. You got you, you to gotta reprove your brother, man. And really, at the end of the day, you're showing them true love, you know, when you do reprove, man. All right? You're showing them true love. This is a, actually, this is a part of our culture, man. It is. It is. Reproving or rebuking is a part of Israelite culture, mm -hmm. okay? And right. look, man, you, you you can't get emotional, all right? You can't, uh, you know, let the, let those things, you know, cover your judgment, man. Cloud your judgment, okay? Nah, um, um, that's a good point, all right? Because a lot of times you had an attitude where, of, of, of being a spirit to where, like, oh, oh I'm doing something. So that right gonna go rebuke a brother, you know what I mean? Because I'm doing something. No, nah, you, you know, you know, you're still not putting some of the sin upon our neighbor, man. All right. So just because of, of, of yeah, and then I'll be doing the same thing, and hey, you still gotta give them the right, the right counsel, man. Or your brother wanna hold off on judgment because they feel like they're not perfect that they cannot judge. No, nah, you still, you know, you still um 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 um, um, um perform right to judgment, man. All right. Um, this is, um, I'm trying to hold on to get this. Okay, calm. This is, uh, back in, uh, that second Ezra's 14 and 13. Now, therefore, set thy house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. Which, you know, we should be doing. We should be, uh, you know, giving these, you know, goodly and godly words to one another. All right? And now, renounce corruption. Let go from the mortal thoughts, okay? You're not supposed to have um, these worldly thoughts that you once had. You got to, like I said earlier, you got to filter everything through the scriptures, mm -hmm. okay? Everything, all right? You can't, you, basically, you can't have that whole spirit of, well, I feel this, I feel that, I think this, I think that. You can't have it. Look, if it doesn't uh, align right, you know, if things aren't aligning with the scriptures, they're off. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. They're off. All right. So you gotta um, let go of uh, mortal thoughts, man. Oh, another thing to, to add, you know, those mortal thoughts also consist of what uh, you worrying about what? Oh, your your family. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, you be thinking about oh, is my family gonna make it? How am I gonna mm -hmm. take care of them in those days? Don't worry about it, man. Look, you how about me? I'll shine. Is going to take care of your family. As long as you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing. Alright? Yeah. Okay? So it says, let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. That's a burden of man, how we're talking about the family. Okay? Alright? You know, pride. Things like that, man. That's what, that's what this world teaches you. That's what this flesh teaches you. You got to put that to the side. And it says... Put off now the weak nature. Put off the weak nature. And this flesh is, is really weak. The spirit is strong, man, but that flesh is weak. All right, but we, we got to put that off, man. Put off a, this flesh. And it says, and set aside thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. And it says, and haste thee to flee from these times. Okay. All right. That's what I had on that. All right, man. Hey, hey, hey because he's, um... Oh, 
wrong. What's coming ahead is something that we don't want to be a part of, man. All right? This is on 1 Peter 5 and 6. It says, um, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High. You may exalt you in due time. All right? And part of that humbling is what? Is going through these trials, man. All right? Being in the flesh, messing up, having these, you know, battling these damn thoughts about brothers, about yourself, these doubt demons. I'm not good enough demon, man. Hey, that's part of humbling. <laughs> you know, part of humbling process, man. All right? So, hey, because you can get down. Hey, we've seen brothers get down, and they never gotten back up again, man. That's scary. That's why the scripture said in that second Ezra is, don't let your sins weigh you down. Mm -hmm. All right? And it says, don't let your iniquities weigh you up. It's a balance to it. Mm -hmm. you, you can't be thinking about every single, you know, wrong that you've done in your walk, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? In your life. You can't think about that, you know, 24-7, man, all right? But at the same time, man, you can't let your iniquities, you know, lift you up, man. You, you got to, you also have to have that spirit of, look, all right, you know, I'm not going to let, you know, worry about everything that I mm have -hmm. done. But at the same time, well, you know what, man? I got to make sure I check myself daily and constantly make sure, you know, I am doing the right thing, all right? You know, because that, that's, that, 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 that's a terrible spirit, too, to have on you, you know, you... Critiquing every little damn thing you do, cause that, that they'll drive you insane, man. I got something right quick. Come, come. In Psalms 130 and three. If your hallowed should have marked his iniquities, oh Lord, who shall stand, man? All right. You know, I mean, hey, take it easy on yourself sometimes. You know, you know, because hey, 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 this will bug you out. It'll bug you out if you if you sit there and try to be perfect. Yeah. All right. You know. The Lord will have mercy, have mercy on man, but uh, hey, also, hey, we still, just, hey, uh, you know, we deserve death. We, hey, we, hey, we have deserved death for the things that we have done, man. Mm -hmm. And the Lord spared us. He didn't mark those iniquities. He got us to be in the truth. You know? This is on verse 7. It says, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. You know, didn't he say, um, 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 even King Solomon was not arrayed as one of these? All right? All we got to do is ask the Lord. Ask me shall receive. You know? It says, it, um, it says, be told be vigilant because you haven't said the devil. Slow down, slow down, okay. brother. There's a lot right, right there. All right. Yeah, be sober. Yeah, be sober, okay? Which, that's going into spiritually being sober, okay? All right? Don't get caught up with Babylon, man. Don't, don't, don't be wooed off of Hey, the, you know, the glitz and the glamour, you know, the smoke and mirrors of this place, all right? Hey, focus uh, on the, you know, the mission at hand, which is what, man? Hey, uh, you know, you know de destination salvation, man. That's what you should be focusing on. The kingdom. Be kingdom-minded. Hey, brother's been pushing that for uh, a couple years now. Like, that's mm -hmm. been a heavy, heavy uh, push on brothers. Be kingdom-minded. Don't worry about hey, this world, man. The, a world that's going to bypass Okay, the fashion of this world is gonna bypass. And I looked up them words, man. That word fashion, okay, when you go into that in the the, the, the book of First Corinthians when it talks about that. Mm -hmm. Uh you know, yeah, I think you can I think it's um fashion world, fashion world. Yeah, I think it's world. is it five and seven first I know it's first Corinthians. Try five and seven, maybe seven and five. Okay. Yeah, try that. But it talks about that. And when you look up that word, man, a uh, uh, fashion, it talks there's two definitions to it. It talks about basically like the ideologies, the ways of the, the, the present world, right? Then it also talks about the habitation. So this whole this whole structure is going to be destroyed, man. Oh, and the, the word bypass, it goes into being completely destroyed pretty much. What, bypass it into? Yeah. Um, I, I forgot how it's worded, but I know it's 1 Corinthians. I'll look it up. Just go to 1 Corinthians. I'll... Mm. I forgot how it's, like I said, how this stuff is worded. Five. I think it's 5 and 7. Uh, try seven and five, real quick. So last one, hold on. I know it's First Corinthians for sure because uh, I just, uh, I just did a, a lesson and I had that in there. Um, this is uh First Corinthians. Um, give me one moment. I'll find this. I just did. If you want to finish the scripture, yeah, right. the first Peter 5 and 8 said, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. 
All right, so, hey, we're walking, you know, from the battlements of the city, man. All right, we're walking in the midst of the peril of our overthrow, roughly paraphrasing a couple of scriptures, man. All right, so you got to know, like I said, the Revelation for about a whole month of adulterers and idolaters, you see? Hey, so when we do our homework, we're going to prepare ourselves for these things and not let these things um, 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 be so much weighing on you, you know what I mean, that it bugs you out, man. What? Yeah, I got this. It's mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians 7 and 31, so lock it. And they that use this world is not abusing it, which there's nothing wrong with using this world. Look, man, if you can get a promotion at the job, get it. If you're able to, you know, you know how like Esau has these different, um, like, you know, let's say th with the stimulus checks to like different type of loans to help you out in this world. Yeah, yeah. Take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, if somebody in this world, like let's say it might be your parents, maybe a cousin, you know, uh, somebody, you know, a friend of the world that you know and they want to help you out, and, you know, in this world, mm -hmm. you know, and take advantage of it. But don't abuse it, man, you know. Yep. Hey, always remember in your mind that, look, this place is going to be completely annihilated, all right? Don't get comfortable. Don't get content, mm -hmm. all right, in this world, all right? Hey, be kingdom-minded. And it says, for the fashion of this world passes away, all right? The, 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 this whole world is going to uh, pass away from its ideologies, philosophies, to, look, man, this the America, man, the, the things that are in this place are going to going to be completely dissolved, man. You know, as it, as it says in 2 Peter, the third chapter. So with that with that being said, since as the scriptures say, since we know these things, right, mm -hmm. what manner of person are we to be, man? Okay? What does it say? In holy conversation? Mm -hmm. Okay, which that goes into your conduct. If you know these things are going to happen, you have to have a holy, which that word holy means separate, uh, and, and I uh, just stated that conversation goes into your actual conduct because it's not a strophe in the Greek and it says your con your conduct. Okay, what kind of conduct are you supposed are you gonna have, man? All right, you you got to make sure that you, you you're different from this world. You have a different character, a different walk, a different demeanor. All right, and these people should know it too, man. They should feel it, sense it. Okay, they should know that you're not a part of this present evil world. All right. That there's something special about you. All right? And that goes into what? Maturity, growth. You putting off the old man. Okay? Right, because, because it holds, and, and this whole um, a, a point of, of, of being a servant, all right, they know how to be a good servant. All right? Because a servant is representative of, of their master. All right? Now we're walking in the study out, you know, on the other side. Yeah. And our forefathers, and we got to serve the way they serve. They wasn't unruly. Mm -hmm. They wasn't going around, you know, um, being disorderly. All right. They wasn't going around um, uh, 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 in the club all the time. You couldn't catch them, you know, you know, um, uh, hanging out past past midnight on the block. You know. All right. So those things that um, uh, uh, become a true a a a don't get you whittled away. You know. He so said King David behaved himself wisely. All right, uh, in, in, in front of uh, all his ways, King David he, he he used wisdom, man. Okay, he he didn't have a, a normal conduct, so to speak, man. All right, and we we should be trying to you know well first off we should be trying to follow your shot. All right, mm -hmm. that's the greatest example. Hey, but another great is King David, man. Mm -hmm. And aren't we trying to be a part of the the house of David? Yep. Okay. You know, that house that, you know, that's getting rebuilt right now? Aren't we trying to be a part of it? So we, we, we got to follow, you know, the footsteps of our um, our, our forefathers. Like you, like you said, our forefathers were mighty men, okay? All right, our forefathers were industrious. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, they worked, they labored, they weren't lazy, mm -hmm. okay? They didn't sleep till fucking 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. All right, you know? they weren't, they, now, of course, you know, our, our forefathers drank. But yeah. I'll say this: They weren't drunkards, mm -hmm. where they had to, you know, constantly rely on the, you know, the bottle, man. All right, to get, you know, through their day. Yeah, yeah our, our forefathers, they dealt with afflictions, they dealt with shit, man. And that, that's a manly spirit. You dealing with things, not running to, you know, these particular things to, you know, ease your pain. Hey, they, they faced it, you know, head on, man. Whatever their, their you know, whatever their trial and tribulation was. 
But part of being a man was um, facing, your, facing your fears and your obstacles, man. And that's another thing about being mature. All right? It, you know, and a lot of us, you know, um, the brother said to me, like, um, you know, like, um, uh, what you hold on for. You know, you'd be surprised what, what you really hold on and what really prevents you, all right, from, um, from growing and maturing in this truth, man. You know, this is not an accident that the father has been doing this for these years, man. All right, even if, even the time that we've been in the truth, roughly the same amount of time. All right, and um, and uh, from then to now, they change their teaching the way they teach a whole lot in the demeanor. Now they treat and treat and talk and deal with deal with people now, man. And you can see it. So why not take that example, right? Take that example, and um, I'm, I'm gonna follow it because. I've seen nothing but um, a, a, a progress from brothers who come in young, yeah. 14, 15, they grow up, they graduate school, get a little job, get a little car, they're responsible, you know, they quit gang banging and all that, smoking and all that, you know, but it's all because of the example that's being set, you know, because about Mark the Perfect Man. And it talks about how uh, in that first Peter, the, uh, the fifth chapter, it talks about how we are supposed to be examples to the flock. Mm -hmm. If you've been in this truth, especially, I'll say this, for a lot of you brothers, man, that have been in this truth, you know, you know, uh, you know, let's just say five years plus, you know what I mean, five, ten years, fifteen years, you, you, you should be, you know, very mature by this point, man, okay? You shouldn't, you know, you, you gotta be an example, man, because you got younger brothers that are coming in, mm -hmm. all right? Fresh from the world. Mm -hmm. They should be looking at you like, man, I want to be like that, brother, you know? He's always studying. He's always pushing out lessons. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he, he's really good with handling, you know, people who come up, you mm -hmm. know, so on and so forth, man. Then they should be like, you know, like I said, I want to be like, you know, you know, like, you know, him. All right. And you, you got to have a good report, as the scriptures say, with those that are within and without. I, really, man, I'll say this. People shouldn't have anything bad to say about you. That's, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, you know, and... And without gossiping and without meddling, all right, all right now because brothers, you know, uh, um, brothers are given the benefit of the doubt. You know what I'm saying? When, it, when it's all said and done, said and done, are they serving the Lord? All right. So the brother out there fighting and battling, they, hey, he's still a brother. Hey, what bad can you say about him? Well, that he's in the flesh. That he wouldn't, you know, that he doesn't do it, you know, doesn't handle the, the things the way you do. You see? Um, uh, um, verse 9 says, Who resists steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are coming to your brethren that are in the world, man? All right? So what we're going through is just something that every brother goes through. All right? Like when we do lessons, when lessons are done, if they're done for the ones who are doing the lessons first, then it's, then it's to edify. Because one brother going through it, trust me, there's going to be two brothers going through it. Yeah. You know? All right, but just think that this one brother, people out here who believe, you know what I mean? And they got physical ailments, they can't even go outside, man. Who, who desire to be on the highways and the byways on that? I'm going to say, man, you, you got particular brothers in GMS, you know? They, you know, you had the, you know, you know lawyer, he, he, you know, the brother, you know, the head brother from uh, GMS Miami, you know, he, he he's got you know I don't know if he's I think it's I think he got cured by the you know Yahweh yeah, 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 he has simple he has simple cell man and there would be times that you know I know because the the, the the elder brother you know the Tazawani or Saint Benji out here you know he's a uh, uh, in contact with him frequently and there would be times he'll just randomly just post you know for brothers to pray for him because he was going through hell man you know because mm -hmm. they when you have simple cell man they they you know you go through a lot of pain man a lot of pain and you know there's you know times when he couldn't do anything because. He's going through so much damn pain, man. You know? The majority of the time when you seen him, he was in pain. You just, but you never knew it. Yeah. You know, he, even he'll tell you, man. It was all through the Lord. You know? Because, hey, we want, hey, we want to serve you. How about me outside? You know? He, he said no uh, uh, no heights, no depths, no threat. Or, you know what I mean? Going to keep me from um, really paraphrasing serving the Lord, man. Yeah. Um, oh, I got uh, this now um, in Colossians chapter 3 I'll start at 1 if ye then be risen with Yahweh Shai 
Now we all quickened, right? Mm -hmm. We all be, you know, we've been made alive through, you know, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh through this gospel, right? Seek those things which are above, okay? And that's what we should be, you know, seeking right now, and yeah, being kingdom minded, all right? Mm -hmm. And I'll say this, man. If you, you know, as the scriptures say, right? If you delight in thrones and scepters, right? Mm -hmm. It says what? Honor wisdom, mm -hmm. and wisdom, it teaches you how to be a real man, all right? It teaches you about conduct, okay? It teaches you about diet. Mm -hmm. it teaches you about um, how, how to coexist with the with the earth, with the world. So you gotta live. Yeah, it teaches you really how to live. All right. So you gotta um, basically apply these scriptures that you read. You know, you read them, you study. You know, uh, you hear you know brothers, you know, bring out you know. X amount of precepts, they expound on it. Mm -hmm. All right, and then you you basically, you know, uh, try to, you know, perform these acts to the best of your ability. Now, are you going to be perfect? No, we're not going to be perfect right now. That's why we need Yahweh Shai. But what are, what are we doing right now? We're rehearsing the righteous acts, as the scriptures say. In the kingdom, we're going to fully perform, you know, everything to the T. But right now, we're doing what? We're rehearsing. And with that being said, you're gonna do. You, you're gonna have to deal with what, or right, you're gonna go through what, growth, and growth. When you when you grow, right, you deal with what do they call it? What, growing pains. Growing pains. Yeah. There's times where yeah, you're gonna fall, stumble. Yeah. There's times where the it's, rain, the rain, hurricane is gonna be a garbage can smack on top of your flower. Yeah. You know. There's times. You up. There's times where it ain't gonna feel good. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you 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 you. you, you Gaining experience, you're growing, all right. You're maturing. You're becoming an ultimate what? A better man, all right. You see, but um, you guys thought I had a little more. Yeah, go ahead, yeah, go ahead. I, you need you need to get that out though. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> calm. I did <yeah>, calm. <laughs> he says, uh, seek those things which are above, where Yahweh Shai sitteth on the right hand of Yahweh. Set your affection, which that word, um, I saw I had these little footnotes, right? Mm -hmm. That word affection, it, it means mind. Mm -hmm. So set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. And look, the things of this on this earth, man, are all tainted, corrupt, temporal, all right? So what's the point of, uh, uh, you know, attaching yourself, all right? Or as the scriptures say, entangling yourself with the affairs of this life, man. There, there's nothing here for us. We're looking for something... Above and beyond and better, man, in this weak kingdom. All right? And it says, um, set your affection on things above, not on the things on the earth. For ye are dead, meaning what? Dead to this world. And your life is hid with Yahweh Shai in Yahweh. Okay? It says, when Yahweh Shai, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. And look, man, when Yahweh Shai comes back, right, man? Look, we, we, we want the Lord to say, hey, yeah, you're my good and faithful servant. Well done. We said, well done. Yeah, well done. And with that being said, look, that means you got to fully be in this. You can't be one foot in, one foot out. Meaning what? He's lukewarm. The mm -hmm. Lord said he'll spew you out of, out of his mouth if you're lukewarm. If you're half-assing it in this truth, you are going to die. That's it. You're going to die, man. If you're not, you know, changing, if you're not growing, you're not maturing, you are going to die. Simple as that. There is no nice way to say it. You are going to die, man. All right? And that should put fear in you. That's something hey, I'm thinking about it right now as I'm saying it. I don't want to die, man. I don't want to uh, be beaten with many stripes. I do not want to dwell in torments. I don't want to know things, you know, after, you know, 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 know things, you know, death by pain, as the scriptures say, man. I don't want no parts of that, okay? So I'm trying to get better every day, all right, to the best of my ability, okay? Uh, I'm going to keep reading. Verse 5, mortify, therefore, your members which are upon earth, fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, Salaki, I'm having a hard work mm -hmm. time saying these words, covetousness, which is idolatry, all right? And these are all, you know, things of this world, man. All right. Hey, to get more edification on the, on this, look look up the words, man. 
do some damn studying, man. Because that's another thing, too. I'll say this. This is just the spirit coming out. Uh, yeah. Look, man. <laughs> Quit being lazy. Go study. Go look up words. All right? Hey, hey, take your time with things. All right? Quit always relying on brothers, man. And, and the apostles. The apostles even tell you this, man. They, they say it themselves. Starting with the apostles on down. They say quit being a goddamn uh, a parrot, man. Quit just mocking everything that we're saying. Do some damn research. They, they, uh, go labor, man. Look things up. All right? Well, it's just being a slothful worker, man. All right? Tomorrow, a worker not be ashamed. All right, we got to go out there, it, 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 you know, and know you put your hours in. You know, you put the, uh, the time in in the Hebrew and the Greek. You go into these words like the brother going into these words. All right, it's all about um, 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 showing a level of um, of growth, man. Hey, you can never have too much, um, too much of a good thing. All right. Hey, hey the truth is living water, man. There's always something you can put somewhere. You know, the more tools you got in your belt, the better, um, the better, um, uh, the better architect you're gonna be, man. You know, the better builder you're gonna be. You know. Yeah, man, I'm going to keep reading. It says, For which things sake the wrath of the Most High cometh on the children of disobedience, in the which ye have also walked some time when ye lived in them. So we were all doing this at one point. Okay? We were all, you know, following the ways of this world. We, you know, mm -hmm. some of us may have been, you know, you know, game banging. Some of us may have been, in, you know, into the church. Some of us may have been into being an entrepreneur, you know, a college student. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, the fraternity life. Right. You know, all that stuff, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The things in this world, we all walk in this world in some way, form, or fashion, okay? But since we, since we you know, have been awakened, all right, the Lord, you know, g gave us this beautiful gift. He opened up our eyes. Now we got to change, man. We cannot be the same man. And I'll say this. We're going to keep dying daily, as the scriptures say, until your house shot comes back. Mm -hmm. Look, that old man's going to creep in sometimes. We all have it. You know how it is. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you, you just have a, you know, because I used to smoke in the world a lot. I used to party a lot. All of a sudden, sometimes that that, that, that man will come back in where I just have a craving for that, that, that like, that, that so-called lifestyle, which is really a death style. You know what I mean? Well, it's always there, man, because it's, you were in the flesh. Yeah. All right? In, in the society, the vibration is um, 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 it's based on, it's based on pleasure. That's what it's about, the lust in the eyes. Yeah. All right? That's the flesh. Lust in the flesh. Pride of life. Pride of life. You know, so yeah, it wants to be pleased, it wants to be pleasant, all right? And, and we're filthy, you know, you, you know, like, like we're in the flesh, you know, our flesh wants to get pleased, you know, but um, uh, the point being is that you got to put that pleasure up on subjection, all right? Mm -hmm. You know, the bridle, you know, and it's a hard time, what I've got a hard, hard time doing with certain things, man, all right? But, you know, but you got to continue to um, um, uh, 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 resist, man, it's just, it's just resist the devil. Or is, or is it Satan? You know, and he'll flee from you. Yeah. You know? And prayer, man. You know, you know they be falling off again a week if they don't pray. They're not reading. Fasting, man. Remember I, I yeah. put that in there? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 the room, room, yeah, the, yeah. the room one day. And actually, the, uh, uh, through the Spirit, through this in the orders room, man. Because it was on my, my spirit heavy, man. A lot of brothers need to fast, man. It ain't just about fasting on the Day of Atonement. Okay? Look, I'll say this. Fasting is a part of our defense, Akim. Mm -hmm. All right? You have to do this. And I'll say this, especially as you get older in the truth, you should be fasting more frequent because it's like, you know, a, a game. As you get, you know, you keep going through the levels, right? You go through level one, two, three, four, five, etc. right? Don't those opponents keep getting stronger and stronger? Mm -hmm. And that's what's happening with us. We, we keep, you know, getting, you know, a, 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 a higher in the levels. Look, man, those opponents are going to get stronger, so we have to do uh, uh, more, man. Work. You know? So point being, though, see, brothers got to learn how to fast more, and that's good for your spirit. Hey, maybe you might fast one day, all right? Hey, say, you might have to do a two, three-day fast, man. No way. Hey, that's between you and the Lord, man. I'll say that. But, yeah, you got point being, though, brothers, you got to learn how to fast. And there's different types of fasting, too. There's the, the full-on fast where you don't eat, you mm -hmm. don't drink, you don't have sex, you don't work out, stuff like that. You have those, but then there's different fasts too. You can do a sun up to sundown fast. Yeah, I was gonna say you can do this type of fast too. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna, you know, 
really be dealing with women for like a uh, you know a week, a mm-hmm. month, mm-hmm. or I'm not gonna you know whatever your vice is, so to speak, man. Yeah, you, for a week. you know you you learn how to cut it off mm-hmm. a little bit. They'll help you out, man, in this walk. But I'll say this, but for you know we got to do those real fast though, man, like the hardcore ones where it's that flex your body. Yeah, you know. You know, the real fast, you know, you know you're flexing your body, man. All right, you deny it, you deny it yourself. You, you know, and it helps, man. It helps. That, 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 man, that boosts your spirit, man. That makes you grow. Hey, trust me, man. All right, but um, I got a little bit more. It says uh, back in the uh, was it Colossians three and uh, what is this um, uh, is it eight now? Eight. But now you also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Which that's going into like basically false philosophies, okay? Um, lie not one. So we we gotta be putting all these things off. Look, you you got what does the scripture say? Be slow to wrath, mm-hmm. okay? You gotta be more level headed. You can't be a fucking hothead, man. All right. And they look, I, I deal with that. I'm a, I'm a I'm a I'm a damn hothead, man. All right. Hey brothers, they if you know me, man, like I, I'm a hothead, man. At times, man, I'm 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 I'm, <laughs> I'm quick to curse curse somebody out, man. Okay, but you gotta learn how to just can't be so angry all the time mm-hmm. you know you gotta learn how to calm down examine the situation I'll say you know you gotta let these people sometimes for lack of words hey, let them have the W man yeah, you, gotta, you gotta let them win you know? here here you go buddy catch man you can you got the W here you go yeah, yeah, you can get those little carnal W's man cause look man I'm looking for that big spiritual W man alright mm-hmm. well you guys get that big spiritual L alright you see you know, um, but uh, let me keep reading. I got a little bit more. It says, uh, lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man. All right, putting off the old man. Get out of here. All right, we got to put off the old man. It says, uh, with his deeds, hey, your works you can't be that old man anymore. It says, and have put on the new man. All right, this is what we want to do put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge. All right, knowing these scriptures. Okay. After the image of him that created him, it says where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Yahweh Shai is all and in all. Okay, and you know that's a whole nother lesson within itself. But all these would be Israelites, by the way, because yeah, Yahweh Shai is only going to be, you know, dwelling with Israelites for lack of words. Okay, you know, like I said, it's a whole nother lesson within itself. It's just that verse. Mm-hmm. It says uh, verse twelve. Put on, therefore, as the elect of Yahweh, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, for bearing one another and forgiving one another. I'll say that too, man. Hey, forgive your brother, man. All right. Hey, brothers, if you have a quarrel, hey, talk, you know, talk it out. Do what you got to do, man, and then drop whatever it is, man. Hey, you know, meet, you know, meet in that middle ground, so to speak. Do what you got to do as men, all right? But don't have a grudge, man, because, hey, man, if you don't love your brother, as the scriptures say, man, the love of the Most High is really not in you, and all right? You know what? And that means a lot, you know, that, um, being, you know, being brotherly and um, holding grudges about with maturity and growth, all right? Because, um, because, um, uh, uh, what do you say? In, uh, in children, or something with, with the wrath, be malice. Um, let's get it real quick. All right, because um, um, the further we our brother can't grow, you know, the further we our brother can't grow because um, um, uh, 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 they can get past the emotional, the emotional part of um taking the low, of being a, you know being rebuked or chastised or whatever. All right, but this, um, this is First Corinthians fourteen and twenty. The brother be not children understanding. I be it in malice, be ye children, but understand it be men, man. You know, and the understanding is like, man, you know, we're going to put this behind us. <laughs> All right, like it never happened. All right. You know, it, it, um, 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 it takes a lot, you know what I mean, to humble down, you know, to open a rebuke, to suspension, to a cuss out. You know? You know what? You know, but try having grudges and having, um, Disputings and grudges and things like that. Hey, let's handle them, man. You know, at the end of the 
day, like we said earlier, um, earlier that if a brother serving the Lord, then he cool, so to speak, you know? But it ain't going off, you know? We all hit bumps in the road. We all got like little, little fucking time where we mad at a brother for a little bit, you know what I mean? But don't let that cloud your judgment. Because a lot of times, you don't, if you don't rebuke that demon, man, hey, that gives you evil suspicion, man. And we see that happen. You see, like the evil suspicion, <laughs> Shit. you know, hey, hey, that's a heavy demon, man. When you don't learn how to forgive and, and let things go, you know? Yeah. And no joke, brothers, man. We, you know, we've been in it for a little bit of time now, you know what I mean? And we, we've seen, you know, some stuff, you know what I mean? We've seen some stuff, stuff, man, some bug out stuff, you know? And we've seen, you know, men fall, you know, because, you know, they didn't have that love, you know, uh, for brothers, man. But, uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. So, hey, 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 be man and, you know, you know, handle your business, man, and, you know, talk to one another and just, you know, hey, you know, let, let it go, man. After you, you talk as men, let it go and keep it moving, man, and, and grow. Mm -hmm. All right? Um, a little bit more, it says, uh, uh, if any man have it have a quarrel against any even as Yahweh Shai forgave you so also do ye mm -hmm. and above all th these things put on charity which is the bond of uh, per 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 perfectness alright All right. All right. Ch charity man comes in so many different forms alright and your charity could be you know it could be uh, you know, monetary things and you get you rebuking a brother, and you teaching, you know, breakdowns, you know, and you going out of your way for a brother. There's so many different forms of charity, man. But hey, the greatest love is us doing this work, teaching, man. All right. You know, um, because a lot of that charity goes to being your brother's keeper. All right. And there's many ways how you can be your brother's keeper, man. All right. So, brother, our ears, brother, our voices of um, our voices of comfort. You know what I mean? You know, so this, you know, so, you know, we're all one body, everybody's a flyer. You know, so um, um, it's really important to be active amongst the body. You know, whatever you can do for a brother, you're going to do it. You know, and, um, you know, and it's just, you know, the way that it goes, you know, everybody's not going to have the same same job, right, or the same um, a lot to perform as another brother, you see? Um, I don't know too many ways like that. Yeah. Is it, um, I'm going to get to the point. This is Galatians 5 and 16. This is I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the lust of the flesh, lust of the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, you are contrary to the one. Um, it says, uh, uh, says verse 17, it says, For the flesh, for the flesh, nothing will get the spirit, the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. For if you be led by of the spirit, you are not under the law. All right? And, um, and, and, and a lot of our problem is that we desire to do things. As um, a flesh to desire to do things as the world does at times, right? All right, you know, then you, you know, you got people um, out there taking, like we talked about, it was the best one earlier, taking a whole month off of work, going on vacations through year. You know, there's different lots, um, uh, 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 there's different likes that people have in the desire to do, and they um, um, and we don't do them. You know, we're not able to do them at times, man. All right. You know, the thing that we talked about earlier, the um, lust of the eyes, the flesh, and all that. Hey, it is good out there to have, you know, you know, all the shiny things, the newness of things, the new things, you know. A lot of things come with um, uh, 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 um, attachments to it, man. You start becoming I, I, um, 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 idols and stumbling blocks to you, man. Gotta have the new shoes, gotta have a new phone. You know, you, know, you gotta build a house like everybody else is doing it. You know, and I, you know, in our actuality, you know, you um, um, I'm, 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 I'm starting, starting up, starting up carnal treasures, man. Mm -hmm. um, um, do you remember that one? 
Corinthians, uh, was it Second Corinthians or First Corinthians? That one that I that I had when we were before we started the lesson. I forgot where uh, where it was at. I, I accidentally dropped it. Preset. Can't remember where it was at. Um, oh, I got it. I'll get it. It was second. I'll just yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, this is um. Second Corinthians five and seventeen, and it reads. Therefore, if any man be in Yahweh Shai, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. You know, and we're, you know, we become those new creatures in Yahweh Shai. Okay, so we got to put off the old things, the old deeds, the old man, and put on the new. Okay? But we can't be the same anymore. All right? So be very uh, mindful of things, mm -hmm. observant. Okay? You know, like, know the season that you're, you know, that you're in. Know where, you know, pay attention to, you know, the, the people around you, the spirits around you. They, they, you got to be very, um, very circumspect, man, okay, in all things, all right? Are you got anything else? Come on, come on. Hebrews 10 and 20, and, um, Hebrews 10 and 23, it says, let us hold fast, Hebrews 10 and 23, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for your faith will not promise. Let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Alright, and this is the um profession of our faith. We can what is to teach, man. Alright, to be engulfed in these scriptures, man. Alright, to you know, to teach you how much on the side, to grow, to mature, alright, to develop as better um, um as better leaders and better servants. So we have about some young side, man, alright? And that's why we um, 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 we put so much as um, um, uh, 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 getting together when we can, fellowship and breaking this bread, all right, doing this work, all right. All right? And also that's why we get upset when Jeff don't do their um, um, uh, uh, for their work, you know. So not forsaking our, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together as the man of some, as the man of some is, but exhorting one another. And so much the more as you see the day approaching, man. Right, this is all like an exhortation, man. To grow, to mature. Alright? So we can be the right, the right fruit, ready to be picked when y'all shot come back, man. Alright, because this is what happens if we don't. But we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. There remains no more sacrifice for sins, man. Alright, hey, we want the Lord, the Lord sacrifice to cover us, man. You can ask him to come down here and do this again, man. All right? But for a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation, which are, which are devouring the adversaries, man. All right? But we're trying to avoid that, man, also, man. You know? Hey, with that, you know, we're going to end this lesson. You know, hopefully it was an edifying one. And with that, you know, as always, we're going to end off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaq Kodash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And our salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom and a Bible ball.